Okay, my advanced Clo pattern drafters. Um, are you guys ready for a little brain teaser? <laughs> I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to do a pleat. It hurts my head a little bit, but once you figure it out, it is really satisfying and exciting. Um, so this is a practice file uh, Clo shared with me. They just have a rectangle and they're gonna sew this longer rectangle to the shorter one and they're gonna pleat it in order to do so. Why is it blue? It's blue because it's frozen. So if I were to simulate anything that's not frozen will fall and the frozen pieces will stay floating. So, um, so that's why it's frozen and that's why it's blue. If you wanna unfreeze it, you just right click and unfreeze. So maybe working with pleats, it is a good idea to freeze a piece until you sew it, I don't know. Okay, so we wanna fold this guy as a knife I'm going to pretend like you know, our notebook sample, this is our center back and this guy kind of gets folded um, out and then this guy gets folded in and then this line is just happens to be where the outer fold kind of lands. Ouch. Can you picture that in your brain? So this line gets folded in and actually ends up over here. And this line gets folded out and ends up over here. So hopefully you've sewn pleats before and you kind of understand what I'm saying. So the way Clo works is it has like, I'm gonna select a line. Um, you can select a, an internal line and it tells you the fold angle. So 180 degrees is just straight. There's no fold angle. So we're gonna play with zero as a fold angle and 360. Zero is gonna mean the outer fold and 360 is going to be the inner fold, okay? Uh, so you really have to understand that and you need to be familiar with it for it to make sense. So this guy is gonna stay 180 because he's actually not folded. This guy would change to the inner fold, I think. Oh, are we doing, see, I'm getting so confused. If he's gonna be the inner fold, I think he's zero, and if he's gonna be the outer fold, it's 360. I've been playing around with this, and I've been kind of mixing it up. Sometimes I make this one the inner and this the outer, and vice versa. Ah, oh, such a headache. Okay, so real quick, one tip Chloe gives us is if we are gonna do pleats, we should starch our fabric so it's a little bit sharper. So to do that, you can select it, right click it, and do a strengthen. And it turns orange to show that it's strengthened. Um, next for the pleats, um, the way that they taught me was to actually go in on each internal line, you have to guess what to do it in the 2D side, and actually type in your degrees. I was kind of playing around. They do have a pleat tool and maybe that's a little bit easier. When I was playing around, I was noticing things weren't working to my liking. And after watching a few videos, I realized that it's extremely important that all of your internal lines um, extend all the way and a point is added to the pattern outline. So maybe just to start with, make sure you do that, extend, trim, Add point to pattern outline, okay? Okay, so now we could type in 180, 360, and zero, or I could try that pattern tool. So if I go to 2D, pleats, pleats, fold, and I guess I start at what would be our center back, and I click and drag this way. I'm gonna double click, 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 we're making a knife pleat. Um, I, we really have three internal lines we're using because I guess some people draft with just two. We're doing three. Our fold angle zero to 60. Our outside fold, we want zero. And our inside, 360. Okay. So let's click it now. When I click this first one, you'll see they changed the fold angle from 180 to zero automatically. And this one got changed to 360 automatically. And this one was left at 180. So that's two different ways. I could have just manually typed in the numbers or use that fold tool. Okay. Now, the only thing is that's not enough. Now we have to sew it to this piece. 
and they put a segment line. So this segment is about five inches, and so is this segment's five inches too. So when we do this on our sample, we have to figure out how wide is this first one because you know this one and this one they both get sewn behind it. So once it's all sewn together, it's going to be the same length, and that needs to match. So we need to make sure we have a segment the same distance. Sorry, phone call interruption. I'm back. Okay. So now we need to sew it and we have a segment on the thing we're gonna sew it to. We have segments all across this. We've um, told the lines what angle they need to be, zero, 360, 180, I think we're good. So I think the easiest way is using the pleat sewing tool. Um, and the way it works is you have to click the small segment first and then whatever you click next really needs to be um, three times 4.967, right? So, cause it's gonna take, and look, it did it automatically for us. So, okay, that looks good. And then now I can take my regular sewing tools and click the other ones. Okay, for some reason I got it twisted. So I'll go in and right click and reverse my sewing. Okay, it should be good. Let's try to simulate now. Okay, so here we go. So it looks, so see how, yeah, this guy's on the outside. Yeah, that's the way I want it. I wanted him on the outside, I think, right? Is that how I wanted it? I think so. <laughs> I guess you could also do it with the other ones on the outside. So why am I having trouble? Oh, can I do something? Okay, there we go. So you kind of, I'm just trying to play with it with the hands and kind of check it out um, and see how it's going. That looks good. So for the outside one, again, let's just refresh. What did I pick for the outside number? The outside was zero. Okay. And then the, the inside, I guess, is U, 360. Okay, I hope that helps for your sewing the um, pleat on our notebook sample. Good luck. I'll also make a video of me doing it on that sample, but I wanted to start with this clean file first to really get us ready because guys, this is really intermediate with Clo. I wasn't even expecting to teach you guys this. So bravo to you for doing this. Um, let me know what you have trouble with because um, I've been playing around with it a lot and I might be able to help them. So we'll talk about it over Zoom if you're having issues. Okay, good luck.